mode um, that your microphones work. Hello everyone and welcome to this session. Uh, this is called Stories from the Hello Little World and I'm certainly not the presenter, I'm simply the organiser because I'm just part of an amazing Skype group uh, which Catherine has actually created and she will be our first person to speak. So just before we actually get started, uh, just to remind you that if you're going to be tweeting about this, um, please add the hashtag GlobalEd13. It's rather sad to think that our Global Education Conference is coming to a close very soon. We'd like to thank all our sponsors and supporters for this conference because without them it would not be possible. So I'm Anne Merchant. I teach in southeastern Australia and we'd love to know where you're from, where you teach and what your interest is in education. So first of all, if you could click on the little laser light or a little graphic or an image and just um, put your dot on the world map where you are from. So we'll just give you a few seconds to do that. And I hope I've caught all the Hello Little World Skypers so far. So this time of night is really quite a good night to be able to catch most of the world. In Australia where I live it's 11.02 p.m on Friday. So my day is nearly finished. In the chat, can you tell us what time of the day is it for you, please? And the day of the week, but I think for once we're all in Hi, Friday. Hi, this is Catherine. It's uh, 1 p.m. and uh, school will end in 10 minutes. My students are standing behind me listening. Ah, can you put the video on at all, Catherine, and show us them? Because the very next slide um, is actually for you. So maybe we quickly put your guys on. Oh, Catherine, there's your photo. So take the mic and tell us all about this wonderful picture. Oh, and there's your students. So if people look in the video, uh, can you put it on again, Catherine? It's switched off. Hang on, and mine's going. So if you look carefully, whoops, we can see Catherine. So Catherine, take the microphone and tell us all about this photo. But you okay, need to good. click the now talk button. Wait a minute, let me introduce you to my students first. Wait, with me, did I wave? Did you wave? Okay, good. Last Thursday I received a uh, fantastic certificate uh, from the Austrian Ministry of Education and Science where our group, Hello Little World Skypers, received uh, acknowledgement for our collaboration, for our, for our, for being heroholics and trying to help one another in our global community. Uh, it is considered as best practice in Europe and our community has the right to use the logo from the EU. Any questions? I'll go on. Okay. Um, we started HLW in January 2011 by accident. Uh, I met Brad Peach from McKinney, Texas, where we started to chat. Uh, a week later, we added Lima from Lithuania, Armando from southern France, and Joe McNulty started to join us and more and more, and that's how we have expanded throughout the last two years. Apparently, we have now more than 173 HLW Skypers throughout the world. And uh, it is amazing, something that I would love to give my students in the future is to become shareaholics, learning to find like-minded people like we are and sharing everything. 
Any other questions? And tell us how they feel about being connected to others around the world. Well, actually, I, I would say my students are extremely shy. Uh, but we have started to get the ball rolling. But I remember, Anne, a couple of weeks ago, on the 11th of November, I was amazed. Uh, here, this is the day where we start Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras celebrated from the 11th of November until uh, that Tuesday, that's the second week in February. And uh, what really touched me was that the 11th of November in Australia, you have Remembrance Day. Uh, that's the last day of World War I. Definitely next year, I hope that Australia and Austria will uh, start an intensive collaboration uh, that we will find schools throughout the world that we can talk about the end of World War I, how we see what it was like during World War I and what students elsewhere have acquired in history. Thank you very much, Catherine, and thank you for bringing your students with us. And I guess most and foremost, we thank you for forming this group. Um, when I first met Catherine, I was surprised because Catherine wasn't very technologically savvy. She'd often ask questions about different tools. So it's just fantastic to think that you don't need a lot of knowledge. Um, once you form a group, you become creators of knowledge. OK, you've all got a pencil. So if you're a game, can you all quickly write, click on the pencil tool, write on the board, uh, where are you from? And if you speak another language as your first language, uh, can we write that on the board? So if you look at the toolbar to the left, there's a little pencil. So if you could actually click on the letter, sorry, if you click on the letter A, and just say hello, and if you have a language, other than English first, we would love you to write it on there too. To keep us on track, we've got one minute. So what was your typical greeting? Can you find it? It's a letter A. Um, I thought you had, sorry, let me see. You should have whiteboard now, do you? OK, so let's go. See if we, how many languages do we have? Unfortunately, some of our members suffer very poor bandwidth. So sometimes they can't even get into rooms like this. So Lin Lin, I don't know if you've got Mandarin Chinese on your keyboard. So yes, please, just click on the letter A, or else there's a little pencil above it. Feel free to use whichever one you do. So straight away, we can see we've got the global classroom here. And I think that's a wonderful thing that um, technology allows us to do. OK, I'm very much aware that some people have to go to work. And Lorraine Leo, who's in our midst, is one of them. So we're going to let Lorraine uh, share with us first of all. So if I can quickly find Lorraine's slide. Here we go. Uh, Lorraine, would you like to grab the microphone and talk about your use of connecting with the world through Skype and video conferencing and this sure. group? Uh, congratulations, Catherine, and it's nice to see your students. Uh, I started well with the Hello Little World Skypers a couple of years ago. Is that I found that it's a, a great 24-7 professional development uh, group where not only through Skyping, but also through the tech support, uh, I've learned about so many opportunities in connecting with others. In this slide, I am sharing some of the connections with Anne and with Steve in, uh, Anne in Australia and Steve in South Africa. You can see my students uh, learning with Steve and his students in Durban and my student learning from Anne uh, in our classroom. And I've also been able to share some of the um, connections that we have had with the people that are in the group, and they have expanded and, and uh, used those connections as well. So thank everyone here. 
Thank you, Lorraine. Uh, Teresa is another one who I think needs to go to work very soon. So I'll let Teresa introduce herself and talk to her slide. Teresa, over to you. Thanks, Anne. Hi, I'm Teresa Allen. I am a technology teacher and coordinator at a Catholic school in Joliet, Illinois. I teach three-year-olds to eighth eighth graders, so 14 year olds, and um, a couple of years ago myself, I think it might have been, uh, yeah, it was a couple of years ago, Michael invited me into the Hello Little World Skypers group, and from that uh, we have um, participated in many more projects and created our own projects um, for our students, and um, a lot of learning um, went into uh, everything that we did. Uh, I'm also a flat classroom certified teacher. And um, we had the opportunity uh, to present uh, with Julie and Vicki uh, last um, um, June or July, July, <laughs> last summer for me. And I had that great experience. And um, I, I believe that that was my base. And from there, I, um, I began my global uh, connections. And uh, down in the bottom left, you can see uh, their friends, uh, Janet and um, uh, Aunt, uh, David, sorry about that, uh, and other uh, friends from Moscow or Siberia. And uh, we met at Janet's house. And um, Michael, there's Mike and uh, Anna, and there's Janet. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and it was so nice to meet them and come face to face with them. And I've, I've done several projects with David. In, and we'll, we will be doing another one, a half day workshop, in uh, February with David. I'm looking forward to that. So thank you for putting me on. And thank you, hello, little, little world Skypers. Thanks, Teresa. So just to let you know, um, Hello Little World Skype is just simply a group that is formed in Skype. And I remember when I first joined it, I didn't take very much notice of things that were happening because I was very busy. And then I noticed there were a lot of conversations happening. So just to show you the membership of this group, all of those um, pins on the map, except Michael from Perth, I don't know what happened to yours in Australia, but that's the spread of members potentially that we have in this group. So in Skype, you can put an instant message in and ask for someone to connect with you, seek help, etc., and you're on, um, you're actually able to share conversations immediately. Maria, uh, would you like to grab the microphone and tell us about you, please. Okay. Well, um, I can't say how much uh, joining this world group meant to me. It opened my, the walls of my classroom, literally. Uh, I, I teach English to um, a small number of people here in Argentina, uh, but uh, I enjoy collaborating with other teachers who need, for instance, someone or an audience for their students to practice video conferencing, for example, or they want to spice up their lessons with mystery Skype. And uh, it's a little selfish because I learn a lot and I have fun. It's, it's, just, it's giving, but it's also receiving. I, I receive more than what I give. and. Um, People uh, Skyping or interacting or coming to the chat to share what's, what's been going on in my life, uh, it has become part of my everyday life. People at home, I teach from home, they, have, they are used to seeing me uh, wearing the headset and I even mm, use my family and my students to interact with with classes around the world, the globe. At the bottom left, you can see my eldest daughter talking to one of Effie's teachers, students, <laughs> and she's uh, she's laughing because she got mixed with the French at the time. And um, well, it's it certainly uh, opened up a new dimension to teaching. Um, and well, I am I really renewed my enthusiasm in teaching, so I can't, help, uh, I can't thank you enough for this. 
I think that's one of the beauties of this group. There are no real leaders, we're just all collaborators. Although some take the lead, like Catherine in starting us, and Janet is very good in supporting us, getting our work up online. I don't think Janet Barnes stables in the room. So this is her slide, because Janet's also connected or a creator, co-creator of the Global Virtual Classroom Group. Um, so she is very savvy with global projects and technical ability on the um, internet, etc. She advises us on using tools and how to do things. Uh, we work between Skype and Google Hangouts and all sorts of tools that suit us. So if anyone has a problem or an issue or wants to share and learn, we go to our, that group to find out something um, very quickly. So if any people of you are interested, um, that's the site. I don't know if someone can quickly type it in the chat. Sorry, I went over it. Um, it's a virtual classroom. Org. Okay, Sebastian, I think you are next. Um, so if you grab the microphone, tell us about you. A dream is not what you see while asleep. A dream is what keeps you awake in the night. I dream of in India my country, which is interconnected and prosperous. Since the hyping by media has kept people away from internet, I am trying my best to bring people forward and use the goodies of the net. My group, Hello Little World Skypers, Global Classroom, Global Virtual Classroom, then, of course, GeoGebra and Wiki Educators have been awesome help in getting connected with the whole world. And Annie Merchant has been my mentor, and Catherine Sabratnik has helped a lot most of the time. Just because we are on different parts of the world, India couldn't help connect with the schools abroad during classroom hours. So I use families to connect. So I have a social networking home, which will shortly be a global parent teachers association. Thank you very much for giving me this platform. Thank you very much for giving me such companionship and comfort. I keep, I think I spend something like 16 hours online a day because it keeps me awake. I'm excited about connections. Thank you very much. Everyone. Sebastian, all the best with your noble dreams. Louise. Uh, good morning. Um, the HLW Skyper group has been just such a great uh, place for me to learn and connect with so many people around the world. Uh, and just as we mentioned, Janet Barnstable is kind of our uh, mainstay. She's generally on during the daylight hours here in North America, and she's just so uh, such a great resource. If we have a question about a tool or some kind of um, you know problem we're having, she's always there to help research and uh, and help out. And just you know, just like with anybody, David Karnasek has come to my rescue so many times with things that um, that were tech technically related issues, and Teresa, um, and so. You know, being able to participate and and uh, and if you have a project, that, you know, I know that I can go to them and they can and I can get participants. So it's been really good. Uh, the other nice thing that's come out of it is I have friends around the world now, and it was so cool at ISTE last year. I was able to connect with uh, Karen Lehrman and Ann Merchant. So there's a picture down there in the right hand corner of my husband and I with Karen and Ann, and then also there are other people there. I just love this picture of us. It's so pretty and colorful and and happy. So anyway, but uh, HLW has just totally transformed the way I teach and the way I think about the world. Back to you, Anne. Yeah, thank you, Louise. Now, I don't know if Steve is in our, our group, but Steve is an amazing educator too. Does anyone want to speak about Steve? 
I can talk real briefly about him. He's one of the first ones that Skyped with me. He uh, he offered, I was kind of reluctant to, to try Skyping, and so he um, offered to do some brain teasers with my kids and kind of help me get my feet wet um, using Skype. And he was just really a, a, a very helpful uh, person with that. And he's just so active and involved, and he does so many great things, and he's really hooked my classroom up with um, some good Skype sessions and, and some other things as well. And I'm hoping to um, participate in his math Olympics that he has with learning math, because uh, you know, he's always been, been so supportive and helpful of our project. So I kind of wanted to pay that forward and help him out with his project. So that's what I have to say about Steve. Uh, so with Steve also, um, he's from South Africa. He runs some really interesting Google Hangouts, gets some very interesting speakers, astronauts. Um, he's had a lady who went and lived in what I call a um, town, sorry, it's a township. And she lived there for a month um, so that she could experience what it was like to be a poor African in a township. So if anyone else has got comments, um, he's a very active member of our group. Uh, Reinhardt is from Germany, who also isn't in our midst at the moment. But I know Reinhardt was one who just put a question up in Skype looking for a picture of a lunchbox. So that's actually my student's lunchbox because I thought, oh, it was nearly lunchtime at school. I went and got my student, I told my students to grab their lunchbox. We took a photo. And from there we did some amazing connections with him. Um, Ryan Hart will often come into that group and say he's got a class that wants to connect or he wants to show another teacher how it all works. Um, he, you can see some of his other slides there, who he's actually connected with. And this was a time when he did a Google Hangout and his students presented on islands of Germany. But the interesting thing was that um, and Dang, Lin Lin and myself also live on an island. So Lin Lin's from Taiwan and Dang from Indonesia and me from Australia. So we could compare what it was like to live here. Effie, did Effie come in the room? She's actually got the next presentation. So maybe not. Does someone want to speak about Effie from Athens? Otherwise, I will keep talking about her because I had the privilege of meeting Effie in Greece and she carried the Hello Little World Skype sign so I couldn't lose her because in Greece there was very little sign of English and I had no idea where to meet her, etc. Um, so if you have a look, she's been a very active member from the start. Uh, so you can read some of the projects she's been involved in. She has her own global project. Uh, she's got one called uh, The Sunny Thoughts, which is on the go now. So because there's such economic hardship in Greece, she wants the people and her students to have sunny thoughts and remember the good things that can be had as well. So that's Effie from Greece. Tatiana, I know Tatiana's here, so over to you, Tatiana. Hello. Hello, well, I'm Tatiana Chirna. I've been working for more than eight years but at a distance school with students of disabilities. And then, uh, uh, and soon after, Anne Merchant uh, added me to the Hello Little World Skype uh, group. I uh, relaxed as I understood um, that one of my dreams will suddenly come true, well, and that's, uh, that collaboration and participation of the group makes me think and say that uh, it has helped me to turn my class into a night class with unlimited abilities. Thank, thank you all the colleagues, all, all my friends, but, well, all my Hello Little World Skype friends for helping me out with all the things we talk about global issues, soul mystery Skype, uh, Skype mysteries, blog, share ideas, uh, well, learn, make peace. As one of my students, Maria, in fact, sa said, well, earlier my learning and my real life were different things. 
but now I enjoy learning from the world, from other people. Well, and one of the students of Tim Schenker's class from Manchester said once during our Skype chat that we collaborate and talk to each other, we understand each other better, and that's and in such a way we make peace. Thank you. Thank you, Tatiana. And I love the peace wall that um, Tatiana created in Padlet. And she got lots and lots of um, wishes of peace and ideas about peace from the world. Lin Lin. Lin Lin's one of my really good connections because we work in the same time. So we very often do impromptu Skype um, connections. So Lin Lin, would you please speak to your slide? Hello everybody, this is Ling Ling. I'm an English teacher in a primary school in Kaohsiung, Taiwan. I have been in a Hello to World and the Global Classroom um, been about two years and and this these are very great and wonderful channels for me to show my students that you have to learn English well because Mm, before we had we had not so many mm, chances to speak to foreigners in class or outside the classroom, but now we have so many friend teachers from around the world um, can join us right in the classroom and talk to us within English. So this is a great. Um, uh, learning experiences for my pupils to uh, be get involved into uh, authentic English circumstance, circumstance environment. Yeah, and thanks to all teachers here who have uh, helped me out in my classroom. Yeah. Thank you, Lin Lin. Uh, oh, Lin Lin, this is your slide too. Did you want to talk about what's happening here? Oh, this year I have done a great amount of uh, Skype with teachers, uh, such as uh, we talked to Sebastian and uh, another teacher in India, Rashini, and uh, also you, Annie, and uh, Luis, and uh, Tayana, and uh, Lawrence. Wow, so so many teachers in the world because uh, I want to um, uh, explore um, many opportunities for my students to know that you see there are so um, so many windows around you. You just open it up and uh, have contact, and you'll be um, just like in a, a wide open. Uh, Happy experience to to meet people around the world. Uh, not, not 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 needing so much money to buy uh, plane tickets to fly out. You just stay in your classroom and you can learn so much. Yeah. Thank you, Lin Lin. I think you've summarised a lot of what we we all feel. Michael, your turn. Thank you, Anne. Um, I can't remember how I discovered Hello Little World. Um, I think I might have been introduced by um, Stefan Nielsen in Denmark about probably going on two and a half years ago. Um, I'm, as a relief teacher or a substitute teacher, I don't get many opportunities to Skype um, with students, but for me, the Hello Little World has certainly been a great antidote to the loneliness and isolation that I felt um, some years ago when I was starting out as a global educator. Um, it was a wonderful experience to be able to talk to people on a regular basis who didn't fit into the regular school system. Um, and it's been fantastic to have so many global friends um, sharing my global classroom journey over the last couple of years um, and this journey which took me to Qatar this year where those um, pictures were taken. So thank you to all the people at Hello Little World. Thank you Michael. 
Oh, we had Teresa before. She came on a bit early in case she had to go. David, your turn, please. Hi, can you guys hear me? Yes, my okay. name is David. My name, my name is David Karnasek. I um, I've been teaching third grade uh, for eleven years, and I just changed to fifth grade. And you know, one reason that I connected with uh, Hello Little World is I was searching for a professional learning network. Uh, my district, we are, we're a great district, but we don't have that professional learning network connections in our school or in our district because we're small. We only have three schools. So I was in I was in search for some some colleagues to help bounce ideas off, get ideas, and when I came upon this group, it was it was a kind of a life changing experience for me in regard to my teaching. I, I started to realize the priorities in my classroom were not to sit and do whole group instruction anymore. It was to, as Lynn Lynn said, open my windows in my room and knock down the walls, and really kind of flatten everything out and make the students realize that our world is a very big place. And it's been it's been an awesome experience working with everybody. And, you know, I just love the contacts that I've made and hopefully I can continue them for the rest of my career, which is which is fantastic. So thank you everybody that works with me on a daily basis and is willing to jump into my classroom as I am to jump into yours. Thank you, David. I think you've epitomised a lot of what we feel and what we know too. Um, Govinda is an amazingly determined educator who teaches in Nepal in what I would call is um, sometimes it almost brings a tear to your eye to see the conditions of his classroom but he brings his students to the world. He's tenacious, he's determined, um, he wants to bring the world to his students and give them the best learning that he possibly can. And I'm sure if you're online you will have met Govinda somewhere around the traps. But both Julie and I noticed before he was trying to get into the previous session and had trouble. But he's probably one of our very special members um, and we try and help out whenever we can with his use of technology. Uh, Veronica's not with us tonight either, but she's from Malaysia. So these are the people who were willing to put up slides, whether they could come here or not. Uh, so Malay it's Veronica's from Malaysia. You can see it's bright, colourful, multicultural. Um, she's another one who's in my time zone, so she's quite a special friend to me. And Dung isn't here tonight, but in Dung is a bit like Govinda, teaches in an extremely poor area of Western Java where very few students have computers. She has a laptop and she connects those students to the world. She has then moved into perhaps um, some international schools and better funded schools so that she could actually work with better technology, etc. But I'll never forget this group. She um, did her PhD and she needed help with her essay in writing it in English. And the group, she put it on a Google document and the members of our group helped her with her expression and ideas, etc. And another thing I'll never forget, Ndang wanted to know the name of a song that she could use for some reason. And someone suggested a song, and the next minute I was horrified to read, I would be put in jail if I used that song. So I think we learn so much about each other, our country, its expectations, what we can do, what we can't do, etc. So many of us have been part of Indung. She's taking a quiet time now. And finally, I think I'm the last slide now. My students are geographically and culturally isolated. So for me to be able to join a group like this, the chat stays. So if I'm asleep when most of the chat takes place, when I get up in the morning I can quickly read, see what teachers are experimenting with, what questions they've got, what answers there are. So you can see we do things like a virtual book parade 
and we did that with Lin Lin's class who speak Mandarin Chinese, which is what our students are learning at school. I loved um, Children's Day in India. I was able to speak to Sebastian's students not long ago because Children's Day is something we don't celebrate so much. International Peace Day was an experiment with Google Hangouts and this was an idea of Janet Barnstables that as a world we celebrate what it means to us um, to share peace. And I love this photo because there's the different cultures and students uh, laughing, sharing fun, learning together and that was with Lin Lin's Taiwanese group too. So what do we talk about? Janet um, picked up all the conversation for one year and there's the Wordle. And I love the fact that the students still are almost are our prime uh, motivation in being part of the group. Uh, here's some of the memorable Skype discussions, but would someone like to grab the microphone? What's one of your most memorable discussions? So Louise, have you got one that you remember very much? Uh, then maybe we go to Maria, Michael. So grab the microphone if you've got um, one that to last share. Quote there not, is mine I'll where bust he in said, and carry I am on. all day and one day I happened to catch a message which uh, gave my students the opportunity to do an impromptu Skype session with an, uh, an astronaut. Steve Sherman was on and he was at some kind of conference that had astronauts and he uh, had somebody that could Skype with my class and so we jumped on that opportunity and had I not had that I am open and had I, you know, I was at, I just happened to be at a time where I could look at my computer as well, um, we would have missed out on that really good opportunity. But I love the conversation that goes on and it can be, a, it can be very technical talking about particular tools and how to use something, how to you know, troubleshoot, but then it can be um, very personal too. We talk about um, what kind of food we like, we talk about what we're doing in our in our homes and our you know with our families and so I just feel very connected to this group. Back to you, Anne. All right, Maria, do you have a discussion that you remember really well or was quite memorable for you? Well, uh, the discussions that uh, impressed me. Um, are the ones that where we discover that after all we we live in di we may di live in different regions in different um, scenarios, but uh, basically our concerns are they are pretty much the same. We we worry about the same things. Our families, our, our realities, our schools, our children to give. We want to give uh, the best we can in our schools, and we are faced with uh, similar challenges. And but. Um, however, we, we try to encourage each other. Uh, there's always um, a word of hope, of encouragement, of we, we laugh a lot, we have fun. Some, some of the comments are really funny and, and most of the times I, I, I go away from the keyboard with a smile and that is priceless. Thanks, Maria. Michael? Thanks, Danny. Um, yeah, there have been some fascinating discussions over the years. Um, the one that sticks with me was the time where we um, were commenting that most of the, most of our colleagues didn't understand what we did and why we you know, why we connected globally. Um, you know, we've we've had some good laughs over the uh, over the years. So. Thoroughly enjoyed my time in Hello Little World. Uh, Lin Lin, do you have a, a memorable discussion? Well, when I first I get into the classroom, well, I mean the classroom of Hello Little World, um, I'm so afraid of speaking in English, you know, although I'm an English teacher. That's because there's few people around me uh, using this target language to me. So um, when i in the classroom, I can speak to my student with a little English because they cannot understand um, the, the, if you use 
English all the time. We have to do uh, bilingual. But now, little by little, they can uh, endure. They can tolerate the my speaking English longer and longer. And I think that's because that I involved them into uh, many projects via our platform. And I'm so glad that I I have entered in, into this global classroom, a little uh, Skype, well, Skyper, and uh, uh, you too uh, help me a lot in my classroom. And hopefully, um, I will encourage other colleagues or some friends in other schools join us um, because um, it, it seems that um, they are so few. They are few teacher here doing so. Only in primary school, I think I am the only one mm, joining this platform. Uh, in high school, in secondary school, I think they, uh, although they have mm, more opportunities to speak to foreigners, they don't, mm, they don't actually have so many chances, uh, just like us, to support each other uh, quite often. Yeah. Now that, that that's all what I want to say. Thank thank you, Annie. Thank you. See that it's your turn now. Go ahead, Sebastian. Yes. My memorable Skype discussion was the interview Catherine Zablatnik arranged from Austria for me. I was able to become an ambassador of my country and also connect and learn from that country as well. Now we have become very close friends of mine. Thank you. Thank you, Sebastian. Tiana? Well, it is so difficult to choose. Well, for example, I treasure Steve talked to us about peace, Holocaust, apartheid. Well, his history teaches also very, very fascinated. Then his brain teases. Well, for example, one of the teachers was horrified when he faked eating a banknote. Then Tim Schenker's class talking to my students about families and interests and there was a lot of laughing in the classroom. Then uh, we shared views from our windows with Lin Lin's class. Well, we showed them uh, one of my students. I used the Skype Pro version and one of my students showed them a snowy yard. Do you remember that, Lin Lin? Then, and uh, I remember you taking uh, me and my students rough outside uh, the outside the, ho the house in Melbourne sh and showing us the yard. Then uh, I remember Reinhard going on a tour of his school and uh, we could ask him some questions. Well, and Maria, while the chair was Maria, another teacher uh, wrote in the sky window that she would like to participate so we joined her and her little kid showed us some puppets and uh, well, Maria showed us lots of thing, things and taught us some words and showed uh, the drinks, shared the drinks and everything. That, well, lots of sessions were amazing, fantastic. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Tatiana. Teresa. Thanks, Anne. One of the um, the greatest um, memorable Skype discussion that I remember is uh, when I needed help uh, trying to do a, a professional development with my staff, and I, I didn't know, you know, what to do and um, what what I could teach, what, what I can show them, and what came about is the Educator Virtual um, PD, which we have done a few sessions and hopefully do another one soon, uh, where we got together and they shared what they knew uh, with my staff and then I opened it up to the world as well. So um, from uh, discussions come great things. 
Thanks, Teresa. Maria, did you think of something else? Yeah, now I remember that uh, the first person I met in this group was Teresa. I I just wanted to ask her what what was the the process of, of of what I should do in order to be part of the group. And she said, well, it's just uh, you have to to bump in and start chatting with the people and all that. And while we were talking, uh, we learned that we uh, both of us had three children and the uh, our children complained that we spent so much time in front of the screen. And while we were talking about this, her her daughter wrote a note to her, asking her to cook and all that. And so we had so m so many things in common. And, and she was so friendly and open. And, and when we help each other, it's uh, we do it a, a very in a very humble way. And that's that's what I like about this group. Thanks, Maria. Um, OK, I think you've probably heard why the group works well. Not all members are active. I think we have, someone might correct me, 150 members. Um, but I'm not sure. But I would love people to just share what are some of the challenges that we face. So who would like to go first? Um, maybe I start with Teresa this time. What challenges do you face, Teresa? I guess the main challenge that I have is um, getting my staff involved. Um, but they are slowly uh, getting involved in from the uh, professional development that I did with them. Uh, they actually have opened up their classrooms. Um, and it has stemmed from Hello Little World Skypers and other groups. And um, I would think that would be the, the biggest challenge for me. Thanks, Teresa. Tatiana, what's your challenges? Oh, good. Some are writing on the board. That's good. Um, how about we give you all pencils? Because what are your challenges? You're in the room. You share with us. But we'll let the Hello Little World group talk. Tatiana? Well, I have just typed in the chess window, time films. Well, no other challenges. Well, if you we have something backstage, well, I'm so relaxed with organizing these chats now. I know that every everyone has something in store. Thanks. And what's your challenges? Sebastian, are you with us? Just Click the talk button. Wait till Sebastian hears that the internet may be slow. Lin Lin, do you want to quickly talk about some challenges? Okay, I think one of the main challenges here in Taiwan is we only have two English classes every week. But you see that we have so many wonderful projects which I like to involve my students to join and invite other um, homeroom teachers to join us too. But um, because of the very tight uh, school curriculum, it seems that it's not possible to do so. But in the future, I, uh, I think perhaps because of the, I mean, uh, the technology, about improvement of the, the technology in each classroom, it might be able to solve this, uh, this big Trouble. Okay, back to you, Annie. Maria, do you have a comment? Oh yes, I, I was writing on on the slide that um, for me my greatest challenge is that I find myself um, very frequently uh, saying myself this is this would be perfect for a primary school teacher or for a secondary school teacher. You know, here in Argentina, we're lucky that the government uh, has given or is giving the, the schools with netbooks. And some of the schools don't have connectivity, but that won't be a problem. Uh, but it's hard for me to uh, get teachers on board because um, you have to 
experiment this as a teacher, as an educator first, and, and you have to to be willing to be helped by others. First, you have to, to know that, that uh, there are people who, who will very gladly teach you or give you a hand uh, in order to collaborate with you. And that is that's, uh, quite difficult for me here. Um, but, well, I'm trying to do my best. <laughs> Great. Uh, for me, it's cultural, geographical isolation, it's bandwidth, it's time zones. But with a group like this, there's always someone who's going to be online, in school, not always on holidays. Rashini, do you want to quickly grab the microphone and speak? Okay, Rashini, if you've got a question, if you could put it in the chat, that would be great. Um, oh, okay, so she's got a comment up on the board. I'm sorry if I missed you on that slide. Uh, I just wanted to, is it worth giving two minutes? What would be your tips and hints? So, um, Teresa, have you got any tips or hints, you know, uh, to be successful? in groups like this, or what would you say, Teresa? And we'll let everybody else write on the board. Over to you. I would think the, the best tip is, or hint, uh, when, you, when you belong to a group like this, don't get overwhelmed. It's kind of like Twitter. It just continually goes and goes and goes. And I put that comment in the slide beforehand, where if you miss a day or two, you're, you've got 100 at least, well, maybe even 300 uh, chats that are going, you know, just lines of, of conversations. And some are just like very short, you can kind of skip through, but don't get overwhelmed. Um, and participate, big thing. Uh, just jump in, like I recommended with Maria. Just jump in. It's, you know, we, we're here to help and we're here to learn as well. Okay, just very mindful of the time now. Um, these are some of the links uh, which we might put back on our discussion page on the Global Education Conference site. Um, Janet started a uh, Google site where nearly everything is linked. So I don't know if anyone's quickly got time to Google that and drop the link in the chat for us. But that site, someone's created a song for us. It's the most amazing group. We created a YouTube video together, etc. But most of all, this is a quote that I read from Sebastian. Uh, was it yesterday, Maria, when you did your session? Maria from Argentina presented in English uh, yesterday. So Sebastian put a comment in our group to say, please join her session because you could motivate her. She is one of our family. And I think this is how many of us feel. We really are family. Um, oh, here's Joe. So we're going to quickly let Joe uh, uh, contribute to this because Joe's had problems uh, with his Skype group chat and updates. So Joe, have you had time to catch your breath? I'm going to give you moderator privileges. We want to know who you are and why you like the group and what you've been able to learn from and with the group. Are you right, David? Uh, Joe, so just click on the microphone. Just while Joe is finding his way round, uh, with Joe, I love his ideas. He's one that will often lead the way. Um, he does interactive Venn diagrams, I think, with Teresa. Uh, he creates lots of projects, voice threads for us to be involved in. Joe, have you got a microphone? So click talk and tell us about yourself. Maybe suffering from poor bandwidth. Um, we'll just wait to see when he does grab it. But we'd love to thank you for coming. Um, if you want to join. Join the group. There, our names are in the chat. I shared my email or Google Hello Little World Skypers. Yes, okay, don't have uh, audio. So, Joe, you are a very valuable member of our group too. Um, I'm sorry we weren't able to hear from you. But we've actually got Effie from Greece presenting next. So, if any of you would like to um, switch over to her room, I'll grab the link. 
Uh, yeah, great. If you put your contact details on that whiteboard, great idea, Teresa. So there's some contacts if you aren't able to work out how to join us or be just connected with us. You don't have to be in the Skype group to be uh, for us to work with you. Uh, so thank you, everybody. I'm going to stop the recording and just stay here for a couple of minutes, but then we're off to Greece.